Eala Erendel, Engla Beortest, Ulfur Middengiard, Monum Sended. Hail Erendel, brightest of angels, sent over Middle Earth to men. Friends, that line from an old English poem, Christ won, was one of the lines that spurred J.R.R. Tolkien to begin his writings of what would become Middle-earth, the Hobbit, the Lord of the Rings, the Silmarillion. Now, most of you are probably familiar with the contents of the Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings, if not from the books, at least from the movies. And if that's all you read or all you watch, you'll be satisfied, but you will be missing out on some of the best stories Tolkien ever wrote. He worked on these as early as 1914 and was continuing to work on them through his entire life. He never felt that they were ever finished, but they contain some of the most brilliant stories that Tolkien ever wrote. Last night, I made my July TBR video, and for my inkling along, I went with the, the Hobbit wardrobe and Great War. Because I had not heard back from the folks that I was working to coordinate a Silmarillion read-along with. I woke up this morning to a message back, finally. And we're going for it. July. The Silmarillion. If you've always wanted to read this, here's your chance to do it with others. Where we have three of us, for sure that will be hosting this read-along and making weekly videos talking about what we're going to read. Who are these other two hosts, you might ask? And that is a great question. Steve Donahue is one of those hosts. You probably already know him. You probably already have subscribed and loved him. But if you haven't, his channel is linked down below. And the other is Scott Danielson. So be sure to also go and subscribe to him. I'm sure both of these guys will be making some sort of an announcement video at some point in time. And here's kind of the breakdown for those that want to read along. So week one, the weekend of July 3rd, we'll be providing a video talking about the Inalendale, uh, the Vala Quenta, and Quentas 1 through 7. So let me pull my book here. So one through seven. So that's going to start with of the beginning of days through of the Silmarils and the unrest of the Noldor. So that's essentially pages 13 through 73 in my volume here. So about 60 pages. That's doable in a week. Week two video going up July 10th is Quinta eight through 17. So number eight being of the dark, darkening of Valinor through of the coming of men into the West. So that's 73 through 150. So about 75 pages. And again, that's doable. That, that, that's a bite-sized chunk. There's a lot of little stories in there that will help break it up along the way. Week three, the weekend of July 17th, we'll do Quinta 19 through 21, and now we're getting to the longer ones. I think that's supposed to be 18 through 21. I'll verify. I'll have it down in the comments below. Um, so it'll either be of the ruin of Beleriand and the fall of Fingolfin, or starting uh, with of Baron and Luthien through of Turin Turambar. And then the final, Quintas 22 through 24, Alakabeth and of the Rings of Power in the Third Age. So that's of the Ruin of Doria through of the Voyage of Arendelle and the War of the Wrath, all the way to the end of the Silmarillion. Four weeks, one great massive adventure written by Tolkien. This is arguably his finest work of a bunch of stories that give you the background, the mythology, all of the origins of the great things that are going to come 
in The Hobbit, in The Lord of the Rings. Reading this, whether you're reading it before you dive into those other books or you're coming into it afterwards, will deepen your understanding of everything that Tolkien references throughout his bigger works as well. So I hope you will join me. Uh, look for my very first video dropping July 3rd or 4th, sometime over that weekend, where I'll be talking about those first parts. So again, Aina Lendele, Valaquenta, and the first seven Quentas or stories in there. And as a side suggestion, if you would read the poem, which I actually just did a video on not that long ago, uh, Mythopoeia, and read his little essay on fairy stories, both of those will be great uh, primers going into reading this. They'll give you a, a kind of a basis and a background on how Tolkien approached uh, mythology and myths in general and what they meant to him and how they deepened things because Tolkien wasn't just writing stories to tell stories. He was crafting this legend, this whole world around to fit the language of the elves, which he had discovered uh, and wanted to create a world where these creatures lived and breathed and moved through it. And we all know what came from that. So I hope you'll join me and my other hosts. I'm excited to dive into the Silmarillion yet again uh, and excited to just kind of help talk you through it and walk you through it. Uh, you can also reach me on Voxer, Discord, all the other methods. I'll have all those mentioned down below. And uh, let me know, are you planning on joining us? And if not, if it doesn't work for you for July, don't worry. These videos will still be there. So you can read it at your leisure at a later month and be able to come back and watch and enjoy all of these videos. So thank you for watching.